Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to some more Legends of Link's Awakening. Last time we were going through another custom dungeon without a sword, and this time I'm gonna I'm gonna have another attempt. I have an, uh, one other location I want to quickly check to make sure I got it. I'm pretty sure I got it, but I could be very wrong as well. It's not too far to go. It's just a little, 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 little it's just a little walk. It's fine. It's fine. So let me try and see if I can get it to work. Otherwise, I have no idea what I'm doing. There's also one other thing that I want to go check out, so... Since we've already done something else as well. Just let me go through here. Now, I'm not sure exactly, but I think I can do it down here. Probably. So, if we go along here, I'm pretty sure I already did, did this. If I go up here... Hang on. Wait, wait. No, I already got that. Well, that's a shame. Um, is there any other easy to check locations that it could be? I'm pretty sure I checked all of these locations. I'm pretty sure. So I don't know where this last one is. Which makes it very complicated with mini games as well. So, uh, yeah. Well, there's a few other locations I, locations I could check while I'm here. But I really want to get this last secret seashell wherever it is. And I will find it if it's the last thing I do in the game. I don't know. Anyway, let's go this way. Oops, stop running. I'm pretty sure I already checked this, but I'm going to check it again. Because I... I just don't know where this last secret seashell is. Yeah, I got, already got that. There's a lot of locations that I'm pretty sure I've already checked, but I don't... I can't... Duh. You can see why I'm having a bit of trouble with this. It's just not being kind to me. Let's go to the animal village, probably, I think. Maybe. Hopefully. And check one or two places around there. Just in that area. Okay, so there was one... Let me check all the houses, just to make sure it's not in one of the houses. Nope, not there. I don't know how I'm missing one. I'm missing one. That's, that's, you know, just, just, you know when it's one thing and you just... It's one thing, it's hard to know, it's not that room. Okay, that's the one I was thinking it could possibly be in, but I'm pretty sure I already got that from that guy in there anyway. So, let's go ahead, jump over that, ah, zapped, let's go over this way, and see what I can do this way, I'm pretty sure I got the one up there already, in this thing, I got the one from the, the raft, there's one in the one one of the places down here has one, so maybe that one's the one I missed, but I'm pretty sure I also got that one, so... Okay. I have arrows, again, which is good. Ow! Ah! Ah! Not good, not good, not good! I also have a sword again, I should probably use it, since I have it back. Okay. I'm pretty sure I already did this, but I'm gonna verify. It's not that one, it's that one. Okay. This should be, yeah, it's just a chest, cool. So, where is this last one? Um... It's, maybe it's not one of the later ones, maybe it's one of the earlier ones that I've somehow missed. Maybe it's one that I already got, but somehow didn't get it? I don't know, that, that, that doesn't make sense. Let's warp again, back to the village, because there's a few things I need to do there, like figuring out how I get a reward for doing all the statues. Because I'm pretty sure that I've done them all, so I should get a reward for it. I just don't think I have yet. I think? Maybe. Okay, well, if I go down here, there's one that we got already. Yeah, so it's not dinging. 
Okay. Let's look around here. How many rupees do I have? 865. That's pretty good. Not perfect, but it's still pretty good. Um, there's one you get... Well, there's a few you get from fishing, but I, I'm pretty sure I already got those. I got the one in here. Um, let's check the one that I bumped into the tree for last time when we were on the shore. I reloaded my save after that, but then I... I don't know. It's not dinging at me, so it's not here. Oh, my goodness. Looking for a single... shell. Let me double check something here. There's also the other one over this way that I could check again. I'm pretty sure I got this one way earlier. Since I could, but I need to verify. Just because I don't know where it is. What? It's this- uh, what? I got this one. What? Okay, let's grab it. Well, at least I have it now, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Cool, that's the last one. And now I don't have to look around the world for the last one anymore. Or any of them, because I got them all. Let's head back into town and figure out what's happening with the statues. Okay. Now, if I had to guess who would give me a reward from doing all the statues, it's probably the crane game, game guy, or possibly the person in the big house. Hey, you. No, I don't want to play. Hmm. Let's keep looking. Marin, maybe? What was the wish? It was... No, it's just a secret. Wait, wait, what did you... Link, someday you will leave this island. I just know it in my heart. Don't ever forget me. If you do, I'll never forgive you. I'm pretty sure she said something about going up to the windfish to make a wish, probably, but I probably skipped it. Anyway. Hello. I've got to say, thanks again. With four boys who look alike, even I get confused sometimes. Okay. Well, there's four statues in here. I'm pretty sure I've done them all. I don't still have one, do I? No. Oh, maybe it's Taran, because he's also here. Isn't he? Nope. Anyway, that's two more, so that's six. Where's Taran? What happened to him? Hmm. Seven, eight. And then up here. What? I'm missing one. Bow well. How... How do... How do I get... How do... How do Bow well get... How... How do Bow well get... What? Uh... Hang on. Let's see if I can find out, because I don't know. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. So, uh... I can't, apparently, get the last figurine, which is annoying because there's a reward you get, I'm pretty sure, for getting them all. But you can't even... I can't do it yet until the... Okay, fine. Well, I guess then, let's go somewhere else. Like the secret seashell house. The uh, seashell mansion. That's a shame. I really... I'm... Dying on the inside, apparently. But anyway, 
It means I get, get to keep going now that I know what I'm missing out on. Let's go in here and get the reward here. Oh, there's two rewards. Raise your sword overhead. I shall grant you new power. You got the Koholent Sword. You should put your name on it right away. You have discovered every secret. The proof is in the seashells you hold. I acknowledge you, you, the perseverance it took. May fortune bless you wherever you roam. My task here is finished. And now we get a special prize. And also a whole bunch of rupees as well. Oh my goodness, thank you game. Got a chamber stone. Okay. It's pretty good. We got more stuff now. Got seven <laughs> we've about got halfway with the chamber stones. Oh my goodness. We need so many more rupees. Okay then. Well now that that's all done, I think that's everything around the world other than more Dompe, so let's go do that. I need to get the thing done. I think that's everything around the world, so I'm pretty sure. Other than the statue that I need to get. But we can do that later. So let's go in here. And let's arrange. Wait a second. What did you just do? Oh my goodness, you made the, the room into an actual room. Cool. Rupees plus effect. Apply this to a chamber to make it rain. What are you here for? Well, we just got a really cool chamber stone, which I'm very happy to have. This is going to help with getting more rupees already. Oh, hello. Ticking clock. You're on the clock with this one. The idea is to get to the boss and beat it in just five minutes. If you ask me, it comes down to how you place the entrance and the nightmare's lair. Not that anyone asked, uh, asked me. Oh my goodness, okay. Well obviously, we can have the entrance. So I, I want to make this as short as possible is basically what the game is trying to tell me. Okay, well let's put that there. No. Let's put a different one up in the thing. Let's go with this one here. And let's put in... I want to... I have to make this as simple as possible just to make sure I can get through it. There's already chests in the dungeon, so I don't need to really make it extra long. Let me put this one in. I, I have to just make this as short as possible. I don't like timers. Let's have a mid... No, I, that's not gonna work. Um, I could get. I guess I could put it in there. Um, I need a tunnel one now. I don't want to use long ones like this one. Uh, is there just? Uh, I think I'll just put in a tunnel since it's super simple. Okay, that's fine. Um, none of those do what I want them to. But that's fine. Looks like I'm going to be sticking with these. That one's a bit of a long one. Um, that one is just going to open up as soon as I go through the, the portal thing, so that's going to be working out great for me. Let's put that one in there. I don't. I think I have to kill the key, the keys in that one to get that to work. And I think this one's just open. Probably. Okay, and boss. Let's put in this one. This is. I'm not going to regret using this particular boss for this. But still. Also, we have some new chambers to check out. So let's have a look at those. If we can find which ones they are. Slowly. Let's make sure I see them all. There's this one. Which is the boss. And... That's it, apparently. Cool. Okay, then. We also have these. So we've got money. 
or the rupee one that will m drop money from the sky. I believe you can only place one in. So might as well put that. Or maybe we can put more in? No, that's just the one. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Also, we can put hearts in if we want it. But anyway, let's put in some stuff. So how about we do it like this. And then, leaving those two, we put money into this one. And I believe you only get to place down one heart as well. There. Cool. It's going to be very short, but that's just the way it's supposed to be because you only have five minutes. Huh? Go adventuring. Why did that... I don't know what just happened, but it's and it's, it's fine. Let's go. It's it's supposed to be fast. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ha, ha, ha. Oh my goodness, timer. <laughs> it's showing in milliseconds, so that's not going to be great. Oh, I put in a mid boss already. There we go. Go, 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 go. This one's a good one because I can just pass through. I probably didn't need to make it as short as I did, but I really... I'm not a fan of time limits, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh my goodness. The Coherent Sword is super strong, and also I have the Red Mail, so that's also super strong. Basically four times damage or something like that, probably. Also, if we have full health, we have a sword beam. But only if we, only if we have full health. So that's cool. Oh my goodness. Everything die. Oh my goodness, I made him hop like that. Somehow. I think this is all going according to plan. Rupee, thank you. Purple rupee, very nice. Go, 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 go. Pass through chest room. Purple rupee again. Also, as you can imagine, having the heart and the rupee filter, uh, filter? Effect, uh, it makes dungeon creating like, all the previous dungeons could use those in at least one room, probably. Probably bosses with the the boss... Bosses... Bosses is usually a good one to have with the rupee one. And probably putting the Great Fairy and the Heart one together works well. Okay. Ow. That works. Oh dear. If the keys could die to the bombs, that would be great, but I don't think it's just gonna work. I'll go through the hole! Oh my goodness, why did this happen like this? I don't know what I was doing, but it happened anyway. I've made a mistake. Oh, I didn't make a mistake, this was just how it was. I remembered that part of the dungeon was already done when I got here. I think this is... Oh, I see how, 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 how. I see how it works now. I see, I see what I'm meant to do. I, I, I can see the path. I just need to go do this first. Oh my goodness, these guys, really? Well, this is dropping hearts for me. Uh, hello? Oh, that's you there. I have three extra minutes to do this, so I, I could have made it a lot more challenging for myself. And probably got more reward out of it. Overall, but anyway. That's all of this done. Let's go this way. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, so we, we have a little problem here. But luckily, we have this three block gap at the very bottom of the screen, which allows us to get across. So there we go. Let's go. Also, this is a terrible room. This is a terrible boss to have the money dropping on because of the lava. It's usually good with bosses that don't have pits in them. So, do that. 
I could have had so much more money if I had done better arranging with the bosses. But I want to use each boss in this dungeon maker. Oh my goodness, let me hit you. There we go. Ow. This is going to take a lot more of my time than I was hoping for. But it's the main, it's the main, the main reason why I designed it like this. Oh, come on. Nice hit. Nice hit. Nice hit again. There we go. I really should have pl placed the rupees better. Ticking clock. Clear. What a show. There were times I swear you had one foot in the grave. A thrill like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. Chamber stone. A heart container? Wallmaster's effect. Apply it to a chamber to make Wallmaster's reach for you. It's great to watch your work, but I've been wondering if it could be better. So I threw together some challenges that are tougher than anything I've given you so far. Try them, won't you? Oh my goodness, there's more. I didn't... I thought that was the end of it, but nope, we're up to the gold level with a lot more restriction power. I wish you could put restrictions in yourself so you could set time limits and stuff. You can see what clear time you had for levels, so I could like set, if I could set the timer, I could set it to something that would make sense based on my previous clear time. I could make it like a speedrun kind of, th if I wanted to like have a speedrun, like if speedruns had a category for this, where you could do each clear time dungeon thing, you could actually pray, like it would, ha it would have to be very specific about which rooms you use though, but you could set the time limit so it's under the amount of time you need, you've previously had, so you have a, always have to get a better time, otherwise you have to restart, so. But that's all that. As you can see, we've got a, quite a few more challenges ahead of us at some point probably. But I think for now, that is it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.